While some area arts programs may not survive the pandemic, the city of San Antonio announcing dozens of area arts programs will not be funded through the remainder of the fiscal year. The San Antonio Symphony, which has been struggling to turn around its financial trouble, says it's counting on its loyal audience. We're all in this together, and I think people are going to need the arts when we come through. I think people need the arts right now. Mary Ellen Gore, principal second violin with the San Antonio Symphony, says the agency was bracing for a pandemic impact. I am not going to say that this is happy news, but I can't really say it's entirely unexpected either. A shortfall in the hotel occupancy tax means 37 funded art programs won't get any more funding beyond April. The new fiscal year starts in October and future funding is still in limbo. We're keeping our finger on the pulse, um, but uh, we just we won't know until we get a little bit further into it because the city collects revenue in arrears. The stay at home order forced the symphony to cancel the rest of the season. The symphony has proactive leadership right now. I have full confidence that they are working hard to find uh, perhaps solutions to this, alternate sources of revenue. The executive director for the symphony tells us they're losing out on about $90,000 in city funds. The symphony's total budget for the current season is $7.7 .7 million. Quote, the unprecedented drop and the resulting impact on the city's budget for arts funding do not help the financial turnaround of the symphony. The statement continued saying that the most important thing is the health and safety of the community. Some good news, about 75% of the 1,800 ticket holders have chosen to donate the ticket sales for the canceled season back to the symphony. The main goal right now is that when this crisis is behind us, we have a healthy symphony on stage and a healthy audience in the house. Members look forward to putting on a show. The symphony expects to announce the 2020-2021 season, which starts in late uh, in September later this month. But again, they say they are just one of dozens of other arts organizations that are financially hurting right now.